Arsenal to sign Trozard from Brighton. Momentum. What is this all about? Well, it's as it says on the tin. Arsenal are in advanced talks to sign Trozard from Brighton. Momentum. Getting behind your manager. Top of the league. This is exactly what you should be doing. And it's not just applicable to Arsenal. It's for Newcastle, Spurs, Manchester United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City. Any team that's got aspirations. Even the relegation teams. Anyone who's got aspirations of achieving their goals in May needs to act in January. So I think that this is, this is, I mean, look, to be honest with you, this could be a better deal than Mudrick. And I know Arsenal fans won't want to hear that because Mudrick's in his early 20s. But Trozard, look, I don't like the way it's gone with Brighton. I'm not party to all the information there. I don't like the way that he's basically got on a train and gone back to Belgium. Um, I think we all like Brighton and we think we all like what Brighton does. But uh, Trozard effectively forcing a move out of Brighton, which he will get, you know, it's not desirable, but it's happened. It's happened all the time. Player at a perceived small club gets a move to a bigger club. They get a bit of money. He moves on, gets forgotten very quickly. And I'm sure Brighton will have somebody to come in and take his place. But at 28 years of age, Trozard, um, I think it would be a, a very, very clever move by Arteta if he can bring him into Arsenal. I think he's got seven goals and three assists this season. He's played down the middle quite a lot, to be fair. But um, uh, right footer, he predominantly plays off the left can play left midfield, can play centre attacking midfield, can play midfield, can play, you know, sort of false 90 attacker if you want. Um, I think it, I think it's a very intelligent move. I'd be interested to know what the fee is, but ultimately, is this not what Arsenal need to do? They need to bring in players that are going to give them something else. And I can't sit here as a Manchester United fan and go, ha, 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 they're going to get Trozard. I mean, Brighton have been very, very good this season and... Arsenal in January, you're not really looking to bring in a star striker or a star winger or a star midfielder. You're looking to bring in players that are going to give you a little bit more than what you've got in the final few months of the season. And I think this is a very intelligent move. Of course, you've got to be very careful. He'll probably be holding up a Chelsea shirt by this evening. But there's nothing, I mean, surely not. Surely not. I mean, that would be a joke. I mean, some people think that Chelsea's transfer policy is a little bit like scouting the, the gossip columns, but this would be ridiculous. Chelsea do not need Trozard. How many more attacking false nine wide players stroke attacking midfielders the Chelsea, Chelsea need? This should, be a, this should be a plain sailing deal for Arsenal. And like I said, they want Mudrick, but ultimately this would be an intelligent deal. And it's the sort of deal that you might look back on at the end of the season and go... I'm glad we got Trozard. He actually did the job we needed. And the job they're looking for is the job that everybody's looking for, which is, you know what? Look at Man United against Crystal Palace. Knackered. The attack was absolutely exhausted in the second half. Fatigue, playing games every three or four days. It's not an excuse because you should be able to look at the bench and go, I haven't got Alanga, Ganacho, and Palestri who are all inexperienced. You should be able to look at the bench and go, oh, I have got a, a, a Trozard on there. You know, And that's what Arsenal and Arteta need. I tell you what, Arteta. I bet he goes to. I bet he's excited and nervous at the same time. You ever had that feeling when you're excited and nervous? I think that's what he's like. You know, um, his uh, his ass is probably twitching like a bunny's nose. He's full of excitement and uh, not a great thought, is it? But you know what I mean. He, he will be excited, and you can't blame him for that. But I think the nerves will be. Oh, you know what? If I do get an injury to this player or that player, what are we going to do? We're only halfway through the season, and we've got to play Man City twice and. I think, you know, what are we going to do about the Europa League? Can I just bin it off or, or, and focus on the league? Would I get away with that? He has got some issues to, you know, hurdle. And I think these sort of signings, if they can get it over the line, which I think they will, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, Premier League proven. There's no um, adaptability time. I think there's a lot to be said about that. There is absolutely no reason why Trozard can't hit the ground running in an Arsenal shirt. Um, he knows the league. He knows the pace of it. He's not got to adjust to that. Obviously, you've got to adjust to the, to the weight of the shirt and the expectation of being an Arsenal player and being in a title race. But it's a big advantage. You know, if you're a January signing, the question is always, will they hit the ground running? And not everybody does what Diaz did last year, where he just came into a, a different league and, and was really good for Liverpool. But no, Trozard is Premier League proven. It's an intelligent signing. And, and the thing about transfers is there's no guarantee with any transfer that it'll work. You can spend 100 million and they'll flop. You can spend 5 million and they'll flop. It doesn't matter. So there's no guarantees with, with transfers. All we can do as, as viewers and all, all managers can do and recruitment teams can do is go, that ticks as many boxes as uh, as we can. It looks like it should work. Let's see if it does. And as I said, Arsenal need that, in, you know, they, that momentum. When you've not played a game, 
I, I think I nearly said I've played the game. I, well, I think that the January transfer market is is almost like three or it could it can be ten points, it can be three points, but it, it's psychological. Um, Man City will see that, United will see that, Arsenal bringing in a player in, and it'll be like, oh, you know, they're, they're strengthening. They are publicly strengthening. What are we doing? What 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 are we doing? And Spurs got beat by Arsenal last week. They'll see Arsenal strengthening. That you know that their mood drops even further. United dropped two points yesterday. Got to go to Arsenal. Arsenal haven't played this week. They're bringing a player in. It's it's psychologically we're here to do well. Against psychologically we've got no money. You know what am I supposed to do? It it, it can be deflating. Um, just you know it's it, you know it's like going to work and seeing somebody with a nice pair of shoes on. You go oh, look at what I'm wearing. Well, that's what Arsenal are doing. It, it's perception, it's image, but it's impact. Um, football isn't robots. Like Ten Hag will look at Arteta and be like, you know, I've had to get up. You know, it took us nearly two weeks to get a player in on loan for two and a half million from Bro from Burnley. He's going and getting a very good player in the Premier League this season from Brighton, who are a very good team, who play. And that's another thing about Trozard as well, the system he plays in. He, you know, Brighton are a football side, Arteta are a football side, and I mean football not in the sense that they play football, but in the way that they play football. So it's a it's a good fit. Um, and it, you know, I don't know how much it will cost, but it's still a good fit. And uh, I think it, it could be massive in the in the title race for Arsenal because I think they need another midfielder. But if they get another midfielder, I'd be sat there going, "Look, what can go wrong, really?" I mean, things can always go wrong, but they are. I like a club that sees the sees the pitfalls. They see the, the they see the alarm bells, they see the dangers, and they prepare for those dangers. You can't have a season like, I mean, United last night. I hate to use it, but midfield. Sorry, not midfield. Attack. There's nothing on the bench. The attack's getting tired, and you're like. We're not going to score, and lo and behold, Palace get an equaliser instead of three points. It's one. That to me is completely on the club, the board. Can't blame the manager. Can't blame the players. They've been on a ridiculous run of winning games. Um, it's on the board, not back in the manager. Now look at look at Arsenal. Ridiculous run of games. Brilliant home record. Brilliant away record. Top of the league. What are Arsenal doing? They're not doing what Man United are doing. And remember, Man United are meant to be the team chasing Arsenal down. We're not, but that's that's the theory. What are Arsenal doing are at the top? They're going out and getting incentives for the manager. They're, you know, they're giving him rewards. They're rewarding the fans. They're bringing momentum and excitement. You know, they're not getting a low knee from Burnley. They're buying a player from Brighton. And I think that's the clippable bit, isn't it? That is the difference between being serious about being a football club and being a, a business that is just focused on selling it or dividends or whatever else they've been focused on. United are having a great season under Ten Hag and it's a surprising season, a deserved season. They're getting tired. What does Ten Hag get as a reward? A low knee from Burnley. Arsenal, same. Manager's doing a fantastic job. Deserves to be rewarded. What do they do? They go and get a player from Brighton who are a fantastic team and he's one of their better players. That's, that's, that's the football. That's the difference. People think managers can defy odds with crap resources. They can't. Um, and don't start talking about what United spent in the summer, because what we spent in the summer has got us to this point. It's what you spend in the next window that gets you to the next point. Anyone with a brain knows that United, Spurs, Newcastle, Arsenal all need to do something in January to get them to May. Well, at the moment, it's Arsenal are doing it, and well done. Uh, anyway, get your comments in below. Let me know what you think. Smash a like on the video and subscribe. Don't forget tonight we are live for Man City against Spurs. We're doing a watch along for that tonight. I think it's an eight o'clock kickoff. Loving these videos. Loving all the comments. Um, hope you're enjoying them too. Smash a like, get involved and subscribe. And uh, what are your thoughts? Get your comments in below.